Hey guys, Zach here with Minimal Escapes, and today I want to talk to you guys about what I think to be the best tank size for beginners. Now, when you're starting out, choosing a tank can often be very hard. I know it was for me. You're bounced between all these different options. You know, do you go with something a bit smaller, like a little nanoscape two gallon, maybe a five gallon? Do you go even bigger? Maybe you sit somewhere in between like a 20 gallon. Maybe you go even, even bigger. You go to like a 55 gallon. So there's so many choices and I just want to tell you guys what I believe to be the best choice for someone who is new in the hobby. So the first tank size that I want to talk about is going to be the nano size aquariums. This to me is anything that is about 5 gallons or less. So these are aquariums that are really small and they can pretty much fit anywhere. These are not ones that I would recommend to beginners because these are very deceiving in pretty much every way. The first reason why I'm not a big fan of them for beginners is because they are actually harder to maintain and balance than s bigger tanks. Right? You think they're easier, but they're not. When you're on such a small scale, in like say a two gallon, it gets much harder and much trickier to balance your water and any input from anywhere can have an effect on your water parameters. Even just putting your hand in, the oils from your hand can start to throw your tank out of balance, so it gets very tricky in that sense. Another thing that I'm not very happy with, with smaller tanks, is the fish that you can put in them, right? As soon as you drop below about that 5 gallon mark, you get very limited in your fish options. You can always pick shrimp, but a lot of people like to observe fish more, so you're better off going bigger than that if you want a wider selection of fish. Some of the only benefits that I've found of smaller tanks is that because of their smaller size, you do end up spending a little bit less money on everything else thereafter inside the tank. So if you're going to buy a hardscape for the tank, it's going to be a little bit less just because you need smaller hardscape. And plants are going to be a little bit less because maybe instead of two cups of something, you only need one. But if you're not too picky on plants and you don't want that immediate full look and you're fine with just waiting a couple months to let it really fill in, then there's no point in going with a smaller tank and you should probably get something bigger. Moving to the other end of the spectrum, you have much larger tanks. To me, this is anything 60 gallons plus is what I would consider a large tank. Obviously, you have much bigger, but realistically what you're going to get in your house is going to be anywhere from probably 60 to about 100 gallons and these can be tricky even though they are easier to balance with water pH and stuff just because you are at a higher total volume so input from the oils on my hand is going to be much less influential on the water parameter they can still be very difficult the first reason why I wouldn't recommend a large tank to a beginner is because it can be overwhelming it's such a large tank that getting all the hardscape and all the plants and everything and getting it all just to sit right is a lot of work. It's a lot of effort that you have to put in. And if this tank is going to be the centerpiece of a room, you probably want it to look really good. You want to be able to show off your skill. So going a bit larger can be a hassle and it can become very hard to get the right pieces of hardscape. Whereas if you do go a bit smaller, you can get those perfect pieces of hardscape. Another issue you can run into with larger tanks is the amount of time it takes for plants to fill in their areas or their spots where you've placed them. In a smaller tank, usually they're going to fill in within the month or two that after they're planted. But in a larger tank, it can take six, seven, eight months. It can take a lot longer to fill in if you're running on low tech without CO2. This can be very discouraging for some beginners, right? After you plant it, you want to see it fill in, you want to see it really pop, but it takes much longer. And personally, I know when I got my first tank, I was super excited when I saw it all filled in within the first two months. It was awesome. Now I've ruled out big tanks and I've ruled out small tanks. So you're sitting there scratching your head saying, well, what size should I get? Me personally, I would recommend to every beginner out there you want to go for a tank that is between 10 and 20 gallons. I found that these tanks to be the most reliable 
and they can become some of the best looking tanks. The first reason why I recommend tanks in that 10 to 20 gallon range is because of water balancing and cycling the tank. These tanks are much hardier than something like a 5 gallon, but much easier to handle than something like a 100 gallon. Right? In this size range, you're not going to run into the issues of, okay, I put my hand in the water, but the oil from my skin could throw off the pH and sort of put the system out of whack for a little bit. No, you don't run into that. The tanks become very stable, and it's a reliable stability that will carry through whilst the tank is up and running. The second reason why I would recommend a tank in the range of 10 to 20 gallons is going to be the ability to fill it out. Right? In this size range, you're going to be able to get the hardscape that you want and you're probably going to be able to achieve the look that you want for a reasonable price. It's not going to be astronomically high. You don't have to buy loads and loads of hardscape. It's going to be super reasonable and you will be happy with the outcome. And the same rule applies to the plants. In most of my 20 gallons, I usually start with about five different plants. You know, I'll start with a tissue culture and then I'll put two or three pots in and then maybe some moss or some floating plants. And usually that's enough to fill up the tank and sort of have it filled enough for the progression over the next couple of months. And when it does fill in, it does look good. Now the last reason why I'm a really big fan of this size is just the options that you have with the tank when it comes to stocking. If you have roughly a 15 gallon, you can stock so many different kinds of fish, it's unbelievable. When you go a bit smaller, like a 5 gallon, you're really, really limited in your selection. But once you get up slightly higher, you've got an unlimited number of options. You can do a tank that just has one feature fish, you could do a tank with a school of fish, you could do a small community tank, you can do a shrimp tank, it's a little big for a shrimp tank, but you can still do one. You could do a paludarium, you can do a riparium, you can do so many things with this size and still have a good level of stocking. All right, so that is everything for this video. Hopefully you guys found this information useful and it's gonna help you when you're picking out your first tank or even your next tank. But if you did enjoy, please consider subscribing and I will see you guys next time. Peace.